people have asked me to give them an idea of resolution that's possible with a 3D printer. So first of all, I'd like to show you this. This is uh, the trebuchet printed at 0.1 on the Prusa i3. Now this costs about a um, dollar fifty in plastic, to maybe two dollars in plastic. It takes about six hours to print at 0.1. So you could print two of these a day. You could print ten in a week. Uh, this is the kind of quality you get with a Prusa i3 or a good 3D printer. Um, Prusa i3 is an excellent printer. It's like a six hundred dollar printer. Uh, for value for money, it's probably the best out there at the moment. Now this is, um, I don't know if you could see that, but that's the resolution you get. You can see the rope. If you look at the stitching here, you can see the lines very faintly. Now this has had no treatment. It's been printed out at 0.1 and it's been sprayed with matte black primer. The reason I've sprayed it with matte black primer is because uh, if I just get a raw printed model, it's very hard to see because it's very shiny. Uh, so it's very hard to see the quality and the detail. Uh, but there you can see where the primer hasn't quite got into the grooves there. Uh, these sideways grooves here are the, are the actual um, the model, where it's the, it's the wood grain. And this is the wood grain here. You can see the rope texture. So that's that's a good quality. Um, medium quality is this. This is set to 0.2 for a presser that's medium quality. Now you can't see it so much on these surfaces but on these flat surfaces you start to see these lines off the 3D printer. This is one of our um, tea light soul burners. This here is the trebuchet painted so you can see it a bit clearer and if you look very closely there you can see some very slight lines of resolution but honestly when it's down on the table next to the goblins you don't notice it this is the demogorgon um, that we've recently uh, going to be putting up for free for a download as a demo model uh, this has come out really good this is printed at point one as well uh, this has been sprayed black and then um, dry brushed red as a base coat. Uh, and all these little details here have come up really nice. Um, these big models are better for 3D printing because they're big, they're big bulky, thick components. Um, a 3D printer isn't really capable of doing uh, well, I could probably do that, but you know, it's not really capable of getting that kind of detail yet. We're getting close. But for bigger models, especially scenery, uh, it's perfect. These are our supports for the walkways. Uh, these are printed at point 0.2 and then painted and if you look there you can see very slight lines of resolution but you know the overall effect compare and compared to you know laser cut or something it's just incredible I mean there's no comparison and they're strong you know that's that's not gonna break so yeah, 3D printable scenery, it's pretty amazing.